Hey sisters, welcome to the Mr. Orange Talk Show. Now today, stay tuned to hear about World War 3, James Charles' new pilot, some drama, and World War 3. Oh wait, did I already say that? Anyway, stay tuned for that, but first I got a special announcement. This is my new show on this MLP Candace channel. Now I thought, you know, oh wow, I just signed this contract like a week ago. Yes, I'm gonna go on a fancy big channel. But it seems to me that actually the channel's dying and... That's not really good, because now i got a channel with no views and no money. I'm going to make a penny out of this. Anyway, stay tuned. Let's talk about our first topic. Now, first off, I'm going to talk about how better than Dr. Phil's talk show. I mean, come on. I'm going to be like Peter Pie's videos, but a little less amazing, because, you know, Peter Pie's awesome. Anyways, let's talk about Dr. Phil's house. Can we get an image up there? Yo, that's crazy. He's a loony bin. I'm better at advice. Like, really, I'm not a psychotic. Like, anyone who has that house is literally insane. He needs to go to a therapist. Alright, well, on to the next topic. Also, later, we might have someone on here for a problem, you know? But I'm just gonna say one thing. I don't just send people to the ranch. Whenever I watch Dr. Phil's videos, it seems like they never end. Like, they just end, like, abruptly, and there's no solution. It's just like, alright, y'all, well, I'm gonna take them to the ranch to be incinerated. Anyways, let's welcome our first guest. He's from the military. He has some special insight on World War Three. Please welcome Mr. Turtle. Woo! Yes. Oh, yes. Hello. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining my show. Now, my viewers are very worried. Can you give me some insight on, like, World War Three? What's really going to happen? I mean, I, I really don't know if it's going to happen. It just depends if someone, you know, bombs somebody else. That's usually how it starts, you know. Now, if it bombs, will it bomb this studio right now and will it just implode? Yeah, I mean, if you... Oh! <laughs> Oh! Oh! Sorry, sorry, continue, continue. Um, I was, uh, saying that if, yeah, if a bomb dropped right here, we'd all be incinerated. Oh, wow, would I feel pain? Uh, you probably just get instant death. You know, I always wanted an oof sound, you know? You, you don't oof when you die. Hey, we play oof right now! Mm, don't you just love the sound? Anyways, continue. Yeah, no, ba so yeah, basically you would just instantly die. And if you were really far away, you'd get a lot of radi radiation fallout and you'd probably oh, die from man. poisoning, yeah. Man, that's terrible! Well, okay, we'll talk more about what you do. What I do? Oh, well, you know, I've been in the battlefield, I've shot a lot of people, you know, I, um... Oh, oh, no, 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 please, please don't talk about that. Don't talk about that. Don't talk about what? Shooting, that's very bad. Well, did you, you do... What? what did, well, I mean, YouTube's already gone down the poop Well, you're right, I'm already demonetized, but, but my daughter's gonna get nightmares. She's out in the audience. Oh, no, Dad, I'm gonna get nightmares now. Shut up, you little brats, this is my show! Anyways, um, can you, like, talk about, you know, like, will I get drafted because I don't want to? Will you get drafted? Yeah, you know. I mean, I guess it just depends if we don't have enough personnel, but right now it seems like we have enough, but if we don't, do you have any medical problems? Um, why? Does it help me to not be in it? If so, then I have insomnia. Yeah, insomnia isn't gonna cover it. I mean, if you, if you're a full world body person- I'm in a wheelchair. No, you're not. You're not. You're not in a wheelchair. I'm. I mean, you're. You actually look pretty healthy. Lying well, anyways, um, so like, like you know, any more news about the war? Any last words? There, there really is no news about the war. The war has not. There's no war yet. There's no. Well, mom, I thought you were gonna give me some insight. Well, I mean, did you check the news? It's basically it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Well, the war are you even on here? You know, next, next person. Well, I just there's nothing going on yet. It's just we, you know, we're, we're uh, we're possibly, you know, we're bombing people, maybe, kinda. So, what can we do to prepare? Uh, I don't know. Make sure to dig a really deep hole in your basement and be prepared to live down there for six to nine months. Do we need any food or water? Well, yeah, obviously. You better go buy, like, you know those, like, weird psychopaths that, like, prepare for doomsday? Go to the doomsday Wait a second, can website. you buy those little filters and pee in it and then drink a pee? Yeah, you can. Great, great information! That's a tip and trip right there. Wait, tip and trip, whatever. Alright, next person! Hi, um, can you move a little faster, like, please? Okay, thank you. Our special guest who sponsored us for one dollar was was um crap. I was gonna say Jeffrey Star, but no. I'm sorry. It's it's, it's a downgrade. It's Hey Sisters. Um, it is it is um what's his name? James Charles. Yes, yes. I love him. I buy his makeup. We're gonna be showing his new makeup palette. It's called the Hey Sisters palette. Will you welcome James Charles? Hey sisters. Hi. I am so happy to be here. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I wore it once. I didn't know where to put it on my body, but, like, it is... Oh, so sorry. It's so fashionable. Oh! This is going terrible! This is already a fail video! Oh my gosh, are you okay? No, I'm not doing Lego guy! <sighs> Anyways, I dropped my palette and now it all shattered and all the makeup's out of it. It's literally powder. 
own over the ground. Anyway, I'm sorry for that little triggered rant. Um, anyways, you should definitely buy it. Like, if you drop it, though, it'll all break and all your money goes to waste. But, um, you know, it's totally worth it, right? You know, buy it now. It's totally worth it. It's like $80, but who cares? Um, actually, um, that's not my palette. What? I bought it, I bought it online. On my website? Sorry, um, oh no, I bought it on Amazon for $2. Oh, that probably has horse pee in it. What? You're disgusting. Uh, excuse me, sister, um, no, I would never put horse pee in my stuff. You bought a dupe. You're disgusting, having horse pee in your makeup. Do you even know what dupe means? It's a fake palette, not by me. Oh, well, I'm sorry that it says James Charles Hey Sisters palette. You know what? I, I'm not going to create another scandal, and I'm not going to be showing myself on your video. So I would like my money back. Oh, well, about that, I kind of bought, like, a fries at McDonald's, so I kind of spent my dollar. Well, you know what? Fine. I'm taking my palette, then. That's not even my palette. Oh, no way! What fun! I hope it has horse pee! Whatever, I'd rather take it back than have you have something that was mine. Well, fine. Man, lots of drama. You know, I love drama. Like, this is what brings in the views. All right, we're going to have one more guest on our video. All right, everyone, give a nice warm welcome to Justin Bieber. You having a problem, mate? No, no, I'm fine. <clears throat> so, uh, thank you for having me on your show. You're welcome. So, let's, let's talk about a little topic. Um, how do you feel about the new song that basically blasted you from Selena Gomez? Well, uh, you know, hurts my heart, you know, because after all, I'm a human being. People seem to keep on forgetting that. Oh, so, like, what about your new girlfriend? You've only known her for, like, a day and you married her. Oh, well, she's the love of my life. I knew as soon as I saw her on the beach or wherever I saw her. Wow, that's great. So, also, um, let's talk about your disability. What? Yeah, you know, I kind of feel bad for you because everyone keeps on hating on you and forgetting that you actually have Lyme disease. Alright, everybody, so he left, so that was a little bit of a bummer. I'm not inviting him back on my show. Anyways, apparently he, um, didn't want to talk about how about it's contagious, so he left. Well, guys, the show must go on, so I got some backup people, because I thought this was going to take, like, an hour to go through Justin Bieber questions from Billy Eilish to Selena Gomez to his new wife. Anyways, welcome the person I'd rather not have here, Jojo Siwa. We may need a translator here, because I can't speak gibberish. Thank you for coming on here. Hang on, Jenny. Did you say something? I was like, I really didn't catch it. <laughs> Can we please have that translated? Can we have a yes, thank you, translator. Please translate. Uh, yeah, she said, Hi, it's Jojo Siwa here. I'm very happy to be on this interview today. Oh, that's great. That's great. I got nothing from that. She's speaking English. Uh, yeah, she actually, I think so. Oh, so what's the language called? <clears throat> Jojo Siwa language. Yeah, that, yeah, Jojo Siwa language. Oh my god, thank you so much for having me. Oh my god, I'm not here. Oh my god, thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm so happy. You know, I don't even want that to be translated. Alright, so, um, I have a question. So, about your receding hairline, is it from the, is it from the hairspray? You know, like, you pull your ponytails so tight, they look like you're pulling out your hair. Like, honestly, you look like an eight-year-old man. Or almost as like if you put your head next to a microwave every day. Okay, well, so another, like, another guest left. I'm not really sure what's wrong with me or what they're leaving. Maybe it's something in the air, you know, maybe some fumes from one or three. Anyways, um, so we're going to have one last guest just in case, you know, if another one left, um, we're going to have one last one. So please welcome a genderless alien. Welcome, welcome. Hello, yes, I am a genderless alien. Wow, well, that's awesome. I mean, like... So you were always born an, a genderless alien? Well, yes, I've, I've, I've been, I felt like this since I was born. Wow, because you always felt like a peanut, you know? I always felt like I had some, like, communication with peanuts. Um, a peanut is not, like, a living thing. But, but like, are you friending me? What? what? No, no. Okay, cool. Well, so, like, if, so if you changed into a alien, can I change into a peanut? Are you trying to insinuate that me being a genderless alien is the same as being a peanut? Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, well, I mean, like, if I wanted to be an alien, I could be an alien. Yes. If I wanted to be dirt, can I be dirt? Could you be dirt? Why would you want to be dirt? 
Because then I can live forever. Are you just making fun of me? Are you just making fun of me because I'm a genderless alien? No, 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 no. You want know to make you more comfortable? Oh, I'm going to turn into a genderless alien. I'll be What? No, you're just mocking me. Hello, everyone. I'm back and I'm in pain, but you know, it's all right. Um, probably going to have a surgery to turn back. But I'm so, how do you feel about this? I feel like you're mocking me. You think this isn't valid. I am a valid person. I just don't know why everyone's getting offended. But anyway, before you get upset and you leave, what part of the planet are you from? Um, I'm, uh, I'm from, uh, Zion. Well, I never even heard of that planet. You know, I'm from the Moony Moon planet. Let me just show you a little diagram real quick. So as you can see by my beautiful drawing of my demonstration of the world, I first was born from the crappy moon, and then I travelled all the way to the moony orange. Then I visited the burning sun, and then I came back to Earth. Um, excuse me? What? I am not really from outer space. I just feel like I have a connection to the outer beings of the outer world. Wait, what? You don't make sense! So you're telling me you're not really an alien? What? No, I am an alien on the inside. I thought I was going to have an alien on my talk show! You are a fraud! I'm a fraud? Are you using a slur? That's it guys, let's get cut this off! And I was gossip, I'm back with you live, and um, I had like 27 surgeries back, and that was painful and we'll never do it again. Except I could have had a chance to become a peanut, but I decided no. Anyways guys, that person was a complete psychopath, they tried to close my eyes out and say they're gonna eat me. Anyways guys, I hope this didn't offend any of you, this wasn't to offend anyone, I just wanted to show you more about the world and, and broaden your knowledge. Anyways guys, Tune in for next drama video. And before you go, don't forget to join our Discord since our comments are disabled. So, I mean, even if you were triggered about this, you couldn't even complain. So, whatever. Anyways, if you want to join our Discord, that'd be great. And uh, make sure to read the rules or you'll be kicked if you do bad things. Alright guys, Mr. Orn signing out!